Live? We live? Good? Everyone hear me? Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Scott Slar here, Viral Marketing. We are back with another episode of Phone Calls Live. I appreciate you uh, joining me today to hear me make calls to buyers and sellers in random markets around the country. This one, we're going to be calling uh, the Salt Lake City. Make sure, Peter, make sure you tag uh, Brandon Blackwell. In the, I think he's in the the uh, group. So throw his name in there so you can see what's going on. Anyway, we're going to be calling a great client of ours here at Viral Marketing. And as you know, at Viral, we are always trying to help you uh, generate more you know, repeat referral business. And these lead reports that I call through are called open and click report. Basically, it's our client's database, people that are engaging. And um, we're always trying to help you attract more business rather than chase. So a couple people I want to thank real quick before I introduce my special guest. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Kyle Whistle with uh, Whistle Realty and the Whistle Way and Brian Kochi. Thank you so much for uh, letting me go live in your group. Uh, Kyle's probably the number one uh, agent in production in all of San Diego area and good friend of mine. His, his group helps you teach uh, the best business practices to, to grow your business uh, the right way uh, in real estate. And then another great friend of mine, Aaron Wittenstein. Aaron, you're the man. I appreciate it. We are live in lead gen scripts and objections and uh, both great Facebook groups. So if you're not in the other or one vice versa, you should go and join because you're going to learn great things from both. And then today I have a special guest. I'm so excited. Uh, Anna Kruger. Anna um, is leads the ISA Mastermind group, which are joining us as well. So another fantastic group. And uh, Anna, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, I'm pumped to be here. So, Let's do it. So Anna, before we jump in and make calls, tell the yeah. audience a little bit about why I want you on here <laughs> and, uh, and kind of what you do in your group and um, what you do with your coaching and training. Awesome. Yeah, so in the Facebook group, I do a lot of live videos on lead conversion. So that totally applies to what you're doing is converting leads. And then also there's the MAPS ISA coaching program through Keller Williams. And I spearhead that with Tim Heil and Sarah John. And every week we do calls on conversion. So like today we were talking about on the webinar, how do you call your database? And what does lead follow-up look like? And what do you say if you haven't called them in forever? So Perfect. I, we're literally going to do that right now. Phone calls live. Oh my God. I'm so excited. There we so go. guys, if you're watching, please, as always, uh, messages, share this video to whomever needs help getting over the hump of making phone calls to people they know, because it's a different type of phone call than cold calling random people you don't know. Um, share this, write a message, give us feedback, critique. The reason Anna is here because one of you, and no, I'm just kidding. One of you did say <laughs> I suck last week, but <laughs> that's not why. The re that's not the reason she's here. You're not that special. Um, the reason she's here is to coach me, though, so I could do better on these phone calls when I get live people. So, Brandon, I'm calling your list. I hope it's good. We will see. I might be bashing you for the next hour, and that would be hilarious too. So, but <laughs> as <Your> entertainment. <laughs> We are going to track our dials, contacts, and leads. As always, you should be tracking your numbers because it is a numbers game. And we are going to get dialing in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's cool. do it. So obviously, it would be weird if you started talking <laughs> in the middle of the call. So I'll, I'll just make objections for you. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll just create difficulty. <laughs> no, um, that would be great. And then we're good. Everyone can can hear her. You can hear her? All right. Let's fire this baby up. Let's do it. Ooh. Pick up the phone. <clears throat> Anna, how many rings should I go through? Hi, you reached Brent. All right. There we go. What'd you say? 
I usually do like five and then go on. Okay. This hasn't picked up by then. Over I mean, it. Yeah. So do I get voicemails. No. All right. So that's what I was going to ask you. I, I don't leave voicemails because I'm just trying to get through these calls for people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that'd be a waste of time, obviously. But if you were actually doing these calls for real, yeah. Would you leave voicemails? I've been saying yes, yes even if you're going to call it again the same week. Yep. Every time you leave a voicemail. Yep. What's funny is this is actually what our webinar was about today. So I hear a lot of people say, don't leave voicemails. Here's, here's what I think it is. I think a lot of people leave the voicemail that's, hey, it's Anna from the Haro Group. Call me back. And that's the same voicemail every time. Yeah. So if it's a, if it's a database you're going to call consistently, you can have a strategy. And that might look like leave a value add. And hey, when you call me back, I'll tell you more. So you might say something like, you know, hey, Scott, this is Anna from the Haro Group. We usually sell houses two times faster than other agents in the area. Call me back so I can save you time on market. My number is blah, blah, blah. And then you just do a different value add every time you call. And those voicemails do get callbacks. So you got to have a strategy. <laughs> even when you're even when you're calling to your database. Yes. Well, database, I mean, if you know the people, you might tweak it even more to what they're what they're about. But I, I mean, I would leave, I look at it like this. If I'm going to take the time to make a phone call, I want them to know that it was me that called. Cool. Right. Yeah. So that's, I know different people have different opinions on that. Yet that's what I. I no, mean. I agree. I mean, if you're going to leave a voicemail, it, you better add some value on there. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, uh, I agree with you. I've been saying, you know, if you're, I thought it could, and it's it could be wrong, but I was saying if you're going to call it like three times in the same week that maybe you just leave a voicemail on the last call. But if you're, if you're calling them every time and you want to leave voicemails, I, I think that's a good strategy too. Yep. I think know your audience and who they are and what you're calling for. Yeah. You know, if I'm circle calling, I'm not, I'm probably not going to leave a voicemail. I just want to get through the list. But if I'm calling a database or people that have opted in somehow, right. to me, that's different. Or know who you are. Yeah. And if you do that, I remember an expired in the most desired neighborhood in, in Greenville, my area. They called one time and they're like, you probably don't remember me, but three months ago, you were the only agent that called me. And now you're the only one I want to interview you. I'm sure I'm not the only agent that called them. I'm probably the only agent that called and left voicemails. So that yeah. was proof, proof in the pudding to me that it can work if you have a good strategy. Ah, I love it. All right, we're going. Another call here. All right, let's go. I can't hear you. Say it again, Peter. Hello, this is the company. All right. Move. Oh, for two. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it going. It's a numbers game. I love when I have weird names. It's like butcher it. All right, that was about five, right? Something like that. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving for the people, for the viewers. And remember, guys, drop a comment, drop a message, give us your feedback. We want to hear from you. Uh, we love the engagement on Facebook. Share the video, whatever you want to do. All right. Yep. So Anna, when, when it's dialing, just so you know, I can't hear you as well. So if you want to tell me something, feel free to chat it. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll do it. Hello. Dave? Yes. My name is Scott Solari. I'm calling on behalf of the Blackwell Realty Group. Uh, the reason for the call is I was calling to get some feedback about the videos that uh, the, the Realty Group's been sending out recently. Okay. 
So real quick, just so you know, this call is being monitored and recording for training purposes. Is that okay? Yes. Cool. All right. So, Dave, uh, the the Blackwell really group's been sending out videos, like I said, every couple of month or a couple of weeks, and I just wanted to get a little uh, feedback from you to see if the videos have been helpful. Okay. And <laughs> remind me which. So the Blackwell Realty for the houses, right? Yeah, for the houses. Yeah, with uh, Eric Gardner. Yes. Yes. Yeah, those videos help a lot. Oh, good. Great. Well, that was what I was calling. I was trying to make sure that they're helping because, you know, they do them um, every couple of weeks, and they're trying to keep you informed about what's going on in the community and the, the local real estate market, obviously. Um do you have any questions that they may be able to answer on an upcoming video? On an upcoming video, huh? What I would like to see would be when is this uh, housing market bubble gonna explode? <laughs> That's a great question. I'm gonna write that down. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's really informative. Yeah, I would love to know that too. You know, we can we can all short the market then. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, so the other uh, question I wanted to ask you while I have you, Dave, is uh, do you have any real estate needs right now? Are you looking to uh, to to buy or sell at this time? Oh, I'm uh, working with Eric about buying something, but oh, okay. I don't want to have I don't have, I don't want to have the PMI, so I'm just trying to save up money so I don't have to pay that. So I can just do like a 25% down and don't pay that PMI. Got it. So everything's going well with Eric so far? Oh, yeah, he's great. Awesome, man. Um, is there any other things we can be doing to service you and make sure that you're, you know, everything goes well while you're working with our, our group? Um, no, everything's I – mean, he, he answered my phone call and my texts. Cool. So that's well, about, communication that's is key. Yes, sir. Well, if you when you get the the videos moving forward, if you have any additional questions, other than predicting the future, but other than that, if you have any other <laughs> questions, we'd love to answer them for you. Just reply back to the video emails, and uh, we'll get them answered maybe on an upcoming video. Sounds good. All right, and last question before I let you go. Okay, D Dave, do you have anybody? that you know, family, friends, um, colleagues that you work with that also are considering getting into the real estate market? I don't know if anybody, everybody's kind of like me just waiting it out. Waiting it out, trying to see what happens. Yep. Well, if you, if you do have a conversation with someone, um, connect them with Eric because I know that all he wants to do is help people make the best decisions with real estate and i know that they could help out any friends or family members of yours yep cool man i will let eric know all right thanks dave i appreciate your time have a wonderful uh evening or afternoon you too thank you all right bye sweet all right cool anna what do you think was that was that was that terrible like mediocre I mean, no, that... it wasn't terrible. You got him. You got him to engage and talk with you. So, yeah, right. I... So here, here's what I would say: is I heard a lot of closed questions and mm. flip them to open, see if you can get him to talk some more. So you probably know the difference between closed and open, but for the benefit of everybody watching, what's the difference? Um, well, not one word answers like open. Like you mean yeah. like questions where they have to like are more subjective, essentially, right? Yeah. So basically get them to say sentences. So like you said, do you have questions? You could change that to, Hey, what questions do you have about real estate? And it could open up the conversation more or, um, let's see. Oh, ah. do you know, you could say, who do you know? It's just harder for them to say no. If you term it as a, what, what else would you like to know versus do you have other questions? Stuff like that. So that was the, that was the main thing. Is so I like people. I said, do you know anyone? And you would say, who do you know? Yeah. Ah, who do you know? I and like they can it. Always say I, you know, I don't know of anybody. So they can still say no if they really don't know anybody. It's just harder and more awkward to say no. 
So that's why you you switch that up a little bit. Got it. I love this feedback. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, I know Eric is part of Brandon's team. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> that would have been weird. Like, wait, you're working with a different group? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. There's so much communication happening all over here. Over here. How how's our viewership? How are people? Are, do we need to incentivize shares? It's it's a little warm in here too, by the way. Oof. You're in the hot seat. I'm in the hot seat. <laughs> all right, let's keep uh, let's keep calling. Anna, I really appreciate your feedback. This is fantastic. I love this. Yeah, ah. I have an idea. Can I give you my idea before you dial? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm thinking of how you could word this, but if you can, so Haro always taught me: be funny, make money. If you can get people laughing that'll usually lead to a good result. Okay. So what if you somehow started it like, you know, there's a thousand things you could be doing. You could be shopping on Amazon. What had you checking out a real estate video? Cause then that would gauge why they were even interested. And that could lead to, well, I'm thinking about buying a house or, Oh, I'm just curious about the market. Oh, uh, so like you, after I kind of get through the intro be, and then yeah. saying something like, Hey, there's a million things online that you could be watching. Why are you watching a real estate video? Yeah, just to gauge, and that could lead into motivation or just kind of gauge like where are they in their mindset and what brought them, because they could have ignored it, right? So if they clicked on it and opened it, there's some level of interest. So if we can pull on that thread and find out why that interest is there, that could lead to a more powerful conversation. Okay, cool. I like it. Cool. Yeah. This Too is exciting. It's making me miss phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna keep doing it. All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Thanks. Thanks, Randy. Too legit to quit, my butt, my friend. All right. <laughs> this one has no name. Awesome. So we're gonna skip that. <clears throat> Did they click and open it? They yeah, they clicked on the video, but I don't. I mean, we can. Do, should we still call it? <laughs> yeah. If they clicked on it. Well, how would I how would I uh, approach that? Just not hey. say their name. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you. What's up? No, you could you could say something like, um, "Hey, I'm not sure who I need to talk to. Maybe you can help me." Uh, we we sent out a video and just curious if you got that. And if they engage with you, just say, "Hey, real quick, what's your name?" Just so I have some context, and then you can also add that to his list. Cool. Oh, look at you. Ah, Anna. Look at that. Brilliant. Why am I even doing this? You should be doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. All right, here we cool. go. Hello, uh, my name is Scott Salar. I'm calling with Blackwell, Blackwell Realty Group. Um, I, You're calling with who? Blackwell Realty Group. You've been receiving okay. some, some videos from them every couple of weeks. Do you, uh, I don't recall. Um, it's, uh, they're, they're a real estate group. They send out educational videos every day two weeks to kind of keep you informed about what's going on in the market in the local community. Do you know, do you, do you know what I'm referencing or? Sure. Okay. Um, well I had you on my list, but I, I didn't have a, a name to reference. I just had your contact, uh, phone number. Uh, what was your name again? Just so uh -huh. I know who I'm speaking with. It's Jeremy. Jeremy. Thanks buddy. I appreciate it. So Jeremy, Real quick, just so you know, this call is being recorded and monitored for training purposes. And the reason for the call is just to get feedback about the content that we've been sending to you. But it sounds like you're not really sure about what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, yeah, man, I, I honestly, I just wanted to follow up and, and get feedback from that. But since since you haven't necessarily been seeing the videos, I, I was going to ask, is there any real estate topics specifically? uh that you have questions about that we can answer for you on an upcoming video. No, not really, honestly. Okay. Um, do you have 
any real estate questions pertaining to buying and selling a home at this time? No, not really. Okay. Uh, any questions about anything at all while we're on the phone? I mean, I'll just answer questions for you. Uh, I have no questions, honestly. <laughs> all right, man. Look, I really, I really appreciate your time. Um, I'm going to, I, I jotted your name down. Uh, you're, you're in the Blackwell Realty list, and it's the, the videos are just meant to keep you informed about the community and the market. If you see a video come across and you have questions about it, just reply back, and we'll, uh, we'll give you any answers that you have at that time. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks for your time. I appreciate it, Jeremy. All right, bye-bye. Right, he was a really nice, confused guy. Yes, he was very <laughs> confused by everything that I was saying. <laughs> yep. I would have loved when you said, do you have any other questions? If he went off into some weird tangent, that would have been very entertaining. Um, yeah. If I, but, if I like, <laughs> what is the meaning of life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like just really random. Do you, do you feel like uh, the environment, like global warming's <laughs> happening? How do you feel about that? Just like yeah. start asking <laughs> random questions. That's funny. So is he one of the guys that have the click open? Like from the report, it shows he clicked on the video. Yeah. Showed him clicked on the video image. So interesting. Yeah. Okay. But it goes back to like Yeah, I don't know. Because if people are just opening it, a lot of people just open their emails just to open them. Yeah, like get it. Because they're of o it. they're O C D and they just don't want to have the Yeah. Right? Um yeah. but when they're clicking the video image or the video text, like they're actually opening it and then clicking in something. So they're they are engaging a little bit. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> it happens from time to time, but Yeah. Well, maybe just maybe I wonder if it was even somebody like if he's a somebody checks his email for him. I wonder. It's just anyway. I was yeah. curious. You never... Maybe maybe we can just confirm what's your best email. Maybe he has a better email. Yeah, the only reason I didn't do that is because we're live on Facebook. Oh yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, what's your social security and your phone yeah. number? <laughs> uh, bank account, please. Birthday. Yeah, I need all the details. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's uh let's keep let's keep cranking here. Cool. I know the whole Skype thing is ridiculous, right? <laughs> Thanks, Randy. I love you too, bro. Phone calls live, baby. All right, that's a dial. I'm going to hang up. That's about to go to voicemail. All right. Yep, these are still clicks. Hello. Diane? Yes. My name is Scott Solari, and I'm calling on behalf of the Blackwell Realty Group. Okay. So real quick, just so you know, this call is being recorded and monitored for quality assurance purposes. And Diane, the reason for the call is uh, we send out videos every couple of weeks um, about real estate and what's going on in the local community. And I just wanted to follow up and get a little feedback from you about the videos and whether or not you feel that they've been helpful. Um, okay. I haven't seen any. You haven't seen any videos about, uh, about real estate or, uh, come across in your email? Uh, nope. Oh, okay. Well, I had a list here, uh, to follow up and just get feedback. Uh, but since we're not doing that, how about I ask you whether or not you have any questions that have been pressing for you or anything that, you know, maybe real estate related that uh, we could answer for you on an upcoming video? Um, I can't think of anything. I wish there were more one level homes on the market that I could 
find one to move into, but so are you. Um, that's my only concern. Are you actively searching for a home right now? Yes. And you said ranch style, like one story. One story, yes. One floor. Got it. Is there not a lot right now in inventory of that? There stuff? is not. Mm. Are you looking like in a specific? There are. No, go ahead. I'm looking in a selected area. Yes, I just want to stay in our county. Right. And there are several like subdivisions of those one level places, but it's um, it's like if you have one, you don't ever want to leave. So. <laughs> Hence the reason why you want one, right? It is. Yeah. It is. It's this, you know, people that are retired and they don't need their big house anymore. And so they want to downsize and just have one floor and and then they're there the rest of their lives. So, Is that kind of where you're at right now? Is that you're looking to downsize from where it's, you are? It's exactly where I am right now. Okay, so another question for you real quick while I have you, Diane. Um, are you currently w working with a realtor to help you with your... I am. Okay. Yes. And when I said the Blackwell Realty Group, did that ring a bell? Are you working with someone from that group right now? I am. Perfect. Um. So I guess my other, my last question, I, I appreciate you taking the time out of your, uh, out of your afternoon. Is there anything else that we could be doing to make sure that we're servicing you? Obviously, be, b b besides creating more available homes, but other than that, is there anything else we can be doing to service you? Make sure that you're having a good experience with us. Um, nope. Everything's been great. All right. All my home was listed a month. My home was listed a month ago today, and I'm now under contract. So Great. we're good. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you giving me the feedback. And one of the biggest things here at the the at the Blackwell Realty Group is, um, obviously, we want to help more homeowners, buyers, and sellers in the in the market make the you know the best real estate decision for themselves. Uh, who do you know that may also be looking to maybe downsize or is in a situation like yours? I, there are two other homes, three other homes in my neighborhood that are all for sale. But other than that, I, I don't know anybody who's contemplating moving. Okay. Well, perfect. I, I appreciate you, uh, you taking the time again, Diane, out of your, out of your afternoon. And, um, if, uh, if it does come up to anyone, feel free to just reply back to one of the emails or, uh, you know, just talk to who you're working with and we'll be happy to help you or help them. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful uh, afternoon. I appreciate it. You as well. Bye. Bye. Yay, a nice person. Yay. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. So what do you think went well about that phone call? Um <clears throat> Well, I Asked the referral question the way you told me to. So that was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I noticed she she talked about three houses down the corner, which, you know, she might have said that if you said, "Do you know?" but she gave you an answer cuz it wasn't yes or no. Right. So that was good. Good. I also thought it was really good too how you used her word. So there's a technique with open-ended questions where you take one of their words and throw it into your question. So she said downsizing was important. And then he said, who else do you know that's downsizing? Oh, yeah. And, and that's big. So a lot of people say, who else do you know that's moving? So if you're watching this right now, just ask yourself, is that how I ask for referrals? Who do I know that's moving or buying or selling? And here's the thing. Most people don't sit around lunch and talk about, oh my gosh, I can't wait to move. That's like saying, I can't wait to have knee surgery, right? Like who actually loves the process of moving? <laughs> However, yeah. she might've heard people say, oh man, I really need to downsize. Or, right. oh man, I really need a one level house. My knees hurt. So when you make it more towards something like that, 
it's more likely that she has heard people over lunch talking about that versus I want to move. Like I don't, you don't usually hear people say the sentence I want to move. Yeah. That's so a really great way. Right. And that, what I was thinking was that, you know, whatever, she probably has people her age that she hangs out with and they're probably in the, maybe in a similar situation. So it was better bet yeah. to go that route than yep. to, um, you know, yeah. Uh, I, I, I stumbled a little bit maybe at the beginning, you know, I guess, okay. but, um, I feel like she, when I asked, you know, she kind of gave me some stuff to work with immediately about like single level ranch homes. Yeah. And then that led to, led from there, but obviously she's working with our group. So yeah. we're good to go from there, you know? Yep. So that's a big win. Yeah. Um, I love how they don't know that they clicked on a video. It's great. <laughs> I know. I've noticed. <laughs> I wonder if you said, um, do you know what the topic was that they clicked on? Well, he smushed three different sheets together, together I think, right? So it's three different topics. So I have no idea. <clears throat> Danny. Lame. Come on, Danny. <laughs> yeah, this is your fault, Danny. It's always your fault. <laughs> oh, so fun. All right. How's everyone doing out there? Again, guys, please, feedback, Facebook. Leave a comment. Leave a note. Tell us how good we are, how, how helpful we're being. We want to help you yep. make better phone calls at the end of the day. Right, Anna? Yep, totally. All right. Because here here's the deal. If you're good at making phone calls, that's if that what this is what I get passionate about. If you're good at this, that feeds your family, that pays for college, that lets you do whatever else you want. So the skill of lead gen and lead conversion fuels everything else. So that's why it's so, so important. Yeah. Communication. It's an amazing yep. tool to, to be skilled at. <laughs> and not many people are. Yeah. That's why I was a little hurt from that one comment last week. I'm a cancer, so I'm a little emotional. I don't know how I don't know how I did cold calling for so long. I'm not very good with rejection. I, I it would wanna... have been funny if today you had some tissues and you were like, "Yeah, last week's comment." Yeah. Kind of have some tissues pop around your desk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to respond differently to that comment, but I yeah. did not. <laughs> well, I think you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks, Anna. There we go. Way to be supportive, coach. You've reached Mark's list. Please leave a message. All right. You're doing pretty good. What's that? Five dials three nine, contacts nine dials three contacts nine dials three contacts it, the 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 yeah the dial to uh contact rate is much higher with the database as you probably know yeah but my 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 stats have been pretty luck last week i made 35 dials i had i think eight contacts and i got two or three a couple of leads maybe two leads nice it's pretty good yeah it's not bad Melinda? Yes? My name is Scott Solari. I'm calling on behalf of the Blackwell Realty Group. Oh, is this uh, Ann Gardner's brother or something like that? Um, yes. Or, well, not me. I don't, I don't know who you are. Yeah, but not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not the brother, but that is the people oh. that, that I'm calling on behalf of, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Eric. Yeah, Eric. Eric and Brandon, they work together. They run the, the real estate team. Yeah. So the, the reason for the call, and just so you know, this is being recorded and monitored for training purposes, okay? <laughs> okay. I was calling to get a little feedback. Eric and Brandon <laughs> send out videos every couple of weeks. Have you been receiving those videos? I have been receiving the videos. Cool. I have not been able to watch them all the way, though. How come? Are they too long? 
Um, they're not. They're not too long. I just don't. I just don't like watching videos. <laughs> really? So wait, <laughs> you're the one person on Earth. Oh my <laughs> God, we found them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, I'm just kidding with you. That's awesome. Okay, I well. Like, I've actually read the, the blog post more than I have read the, watched the videos. You know, it probably saves you time because you can be a little more selective with, like, what you read, you know? Yeah. Well. Yeah, so I don't really. Know. Sorry, I was getting, I I'm getting. I, I've only just seen one, I've only seen one video. Okay. And I can't even remember what she talked about. Well, um, have the blog posts been helpful that you've read? I'm not really looking to sell my own house yet, so. Okay, it cut out for a second. I'm more so just read. I'm more so just read them because it's Eric. Yeah, because it's like a. What'd you say? It's a fa yeah. family friend. Eric's a family friend of yours. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Um, so, y you just mentioned that you're not looking to sell your. Are you a homeowner right now? No. Okay. Uh, yes, we are a homeowner right now. Oh, okay. But you're you're happy with the home that you have? Yeah, we're we're pretty happy with it. Got it. Um, so the other question while I have you, is there any uh, questions that have come up that you have potentially about real estate right now um, that they could like Eric could maybe answer for you in a video? If not, that's um, okay. If not, that's okay. I don't know. No, I'm just trying to think, like, maybe just realtor selection, like, or. Realtor, like how to choose the best realtor. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's, yeah, I don't know how to check people's realtor backgrounds. It's usually word of mouth what people like to use. Yeah, I would say. I don't know if there's a Yelp, Yelp for realtors. There is. There's, that's what they should be doing. there's Yelp. There's Zillow. There's Google. No, like a no, no, I'm saying for reviews. There's Yelp, Zillow, and Google for reviews. So you could okay. Google someone's name and kind of see what their really yeah they can they can you can see what their yeah. online presence is like. Um, okay. So, even have that. so with your current what's your name? What, my, what is your name? Your my name is Scott. So I I work in the customer service side of their business. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Customer relations. Exactly. So, yeah, just okay. trying to get a feel for the people that are that subscribing to the videos. And then the one question I want to ask you is if, if you could change one thing or something about your home, what would it be? <laughs> the draftiness. The what? The draftiness. The draftiness. We have a hundred-year-old home, and it's just really drafty. Ah, With got the exposed, it. The exposed brick kind of made it more drafty, so I, that's probably it. Got it. So, would that be a reason that you may consider in the future looking for a different home down the road? Oh no, we would consider just a bigger house because we only have a two-bedroom house. Got it. So just getting a bigger house. So, um. We love the location. We love the location too much to move. So. So what would be a a factor or a reason that you'd actually have to get a bigger home? Oh, just my kids getting bigger and older. Got it. Which will happen. Which will happen. <laughs> yes. They eventually <laughs> will. <laughs> <laughs> um, our home is how old are your kids now if you don't mind me asking or like when are they going to get bigger uh, nine, 9 and 3 9 and 3 they'll get bigger within the next 2 3 years alright well um, so obviously here We'd like to, we'd love to help you when you, if you do need to move to a bigger property, even if it is in the same location, 
Um, obviously, Eric would love to, to help you, so we're going to stay in touch. Oh, I know she would. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Because we are in con constant contact with the gardeners. Yeah. Well, Eric's Eric's a great guy, and I'm I'm sure he would take great care of you when you're ready to make when you're ready to do anything real estate related. So, um, when you get the emails, if you ever have any questions or need anything, just reply back to the email, and we'll reach out to you. Okay, I've gotten for three emails. I think it's I can't maybe three. There's one that was a new realtor email, then like a video one, and then. What, which Henry, what is it? <laughs> Sorry, we're, we are um, navigating to baseball practice. Nice. Well, I appreciate you speaking to me while you're driving to baseball. Yeah. Are you with your your night? Another. That's another factor. <laughs> oh. It, we might have to move out. Move out to Harriman. Hopefully not. How come? Okay. Oh, that's, thank you. Thank you for calling. Okay, yeah. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate your time. Okay. Reach out to Eric whenever you're ready, okay? You too. Oh, I, I will. All right. Thanks. I will. Oh, okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hey, that was a pretty good one. Yeah? Yeah. She uh, had good personality. You can have fun with her. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, so I have a, I have some feedback. I Are bet you. Do, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't know how much feedback you want. So no, fire so, away. Okay, so it all goes back to the open-ended question. So when you're talking with a lead, you always want to get motivation first because if you have motivation, that can be your guide to the rest of the call. Right. So more than logistics, as far as how big or how small you want the house to be, stuff like that. If we know why they want the bigger house, then we can get into, well, what's keeping you from doing that now that then we can get logical. So when they, so I'm going to show you how I take notes. Okay. Oh, oh by the way, I wrote down, you said, um, we found the one person on earth and got her laughing. That was great for report. <laughs> so when she said I would want a bigger house, even though it would be down the line, you could say, take the word bigger house, and this is how I, hold on, I had to erase my paper here. Okay. Can you guys all see this on the screen? Bigger house. Yes. So what you do is you ask a question, what would a bigger house do for you? Um, sometimes you ask, you can even ask an obvious question and posture it like, you know, a lot of people would stay in a smaller house even as their kids get bigger. Make that sound logical. So what makes you want to get a bigger house as your kids grow up? And then she might say, who knows what, um, you know, school district. Okay. Well, you know, whatever her name was, I can't remember Andrea, you know, what would a better school district do for you and the kids? Why, you know, why is a better school district important? And basically you're just diving into why that matters to her. Right. If you can figure out why that matters to her, then it's easy to transition to, well, that sounds important to you. What's holding you back? You know, you want to get your kids in a better school district for college scholarship opportunity. What's holding you back from doing that now? Yeah. And that's where you can start getting into, hey, maybe you should go ahead and talk to Eric. Why wait? Right. But you got to get that motivation first. So yeah, that would be, I feel that like we were almost there with the baseball thing. That was going to be the, I feel like that was going to be a good segue. Yeah. Yeah, what? and then it sounded like she just had to go. But she said something at the end. It was hard to hear her. She yeah, said, she, what? she said like an area. It sounded like she said Hammond or something. Something, yeah. That was like an area maybe that was better for baseball, but I don't know the area that well. So I think someone yeah. someone local may have known or been able to pick up on like what she was talking about. Yeah. But obviously yeah. <laughs> not in Utah, so <laughs> – I was nervous at the beginning when she was asking about somebody's brother. I was like, yeah, this might not go well. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is that was Melinda. What I'm going to do anyway is let Eric know that maybe she's worth reaching out to. Yeah. And him having a real conversation with her. And I'm going to go over the things you said. It seemed like there was some motivation there uh, potentially to yeah. move into a bigger place that wasn't quite as drafty. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny too. Yeah. If Eric can dig into why she wants a bigger house and why Hammond or whatever that place was is important to her, that might give her some leeway. And the, then the question of what would keep you from doing it now, or how does it benefit you to wait? 
So that's a th think about it like if somebody's like, I need to go to the gym and they're just procrastinating. If you say, how's it benefit you to wait? If you have no answer to that question, and most people don't have a good answer to how's it benefit you to wait, then it's kind of like, oh, why am I waiting? And they can get into action faster. Yeah. Wow, I'm I've, I'm realizing how bad I am at doing these phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's good though? You're really good at making connection. Like you don't get rattled, and you have a personality that people seem to gravitate towards, and you can't train that. You no, know I, mean? I mean that's that's you how know, I've gotten this far in my that. whole life. But yeah. maybe I should study my scripts a little better. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? Uh, yeah. Do that. No, but this is this is good, and this is I know this is really helpful for the audience because they hear me and they know I'm good at like ha just conversing with people, but yeah, I have no really idea like on like how to use these these strategies you're talking about because I haven't had to do it to yeah. push people to identify motivation because well for the last however long years most people I'm getting on the phone with have some sort of business motivation already. Hence yeah. why I'm on the phone with them. I haven't had to create or identify or help them identify that need yeah. necessarily or that motivation, right? So this is different for me. This is good. Yeah. This All right. Is really good. Let's let's uh, let's hit another dial. What what time? What what's our time right now, guys? Fitty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you've reached Melissa with Rockport Financial Group. I am unable to come to the. All right, all right. Any any comments, responses, updates, love? Hey, this is Chris. All right. And we're done. All right. Let's, uh, one, two, three, get four through five more here. And then we'll be, hopefully we get one more person. We had some good conversations, I feel like, though. Andy, we appreciate you. Thanks for commenting. Other people are watching, but they're not commenting. I appreciate you commenting. Where's Randy? I don't see his comments. Let me go to the... I don't know. It, must, it might be in a different group or something. Randy, where are you? Randy! Oh, I found him. Oh. <laughs> <I found> <laughs> this is Florida. This is Florida. Your call has been forwarded to. Nope. Uh, next. Next. What? Who said that? Ah. What's up? I don't know how to say your name. Flo Florian? Florian, what's up? We're making phone calls. It's Romanian? Really? Really? 
We're dialing, so we're all smiling. Adela, you're wrong. He's he's French. <laughs> She's Your call has been forwarded to She says you have Romanian roots. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> happening here. I feel like I'm I'm in between a bunch of people right now. <laughs> he's like, no, nah, I'm French. <laughs> All right. Get two more. 400 views. That's it. Ah, it's weak sauce. We gotta do. We gotta do better promotions. My fault. I forgot to post earlier. No one knew we were doing this. I'm the worst. <laughs> you guys need to do a better job preparing. This is ridiculous. You know what, guys? I'm blaming everyone. I'm blaming everyone. <laughs> I'm not taking responsibility anymore. Enough of this leadership crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> There's the quote of the day. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Enough of this leadership crap. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> gotta lead the willing, huh? All right, one more call. Here we go. Oh, that's three, Anna. Ooh. Not looking good. Not looking good. Zach, leave a message. Oh, oh, I thought it was, I thought we were like live. I did too. Or like you get those voicemails that they're like, hello, what? I yeah. can't hear you. You ever get those? <laughs> yeah, I, we had one of those last week, didn't we? The guys, I can't remember. Yeah, I think, I think we did. All right. Well, cool. So Anna, I appreciate you being on. This has been very enlightening and helpful with the, the questions. It. Yeah. Um, and obviously, guys, if you're watching, you see the value that, that Anna can bring to to you or your team. So, Anna, why don't you tell uh, our audience, you know, if they want to learn more about your coaching program, where to go? Yeah. Yeah. So you can email me and I'll even give you my number. So you can email me at maps. It's M-A-P-S, like a roadmap. Maps coach Anna at Gmail, or you could text or call me. It is 864-735-8605. And um, we have the coaching program. You can jump in where we teach the language patterns and scripts and how to overcome objections. And then I also have a couple clients where I watch them lead generate and kind of like what we just did with Scott, give live feedback when they're off the call. Of, hey guys, here's what I heard. Try tweaking this and and go back at it. So there's a couple options for you. So reach out to me, 864-735-8605 or Maps Coach Anna at Gmail. Thanks, Scott. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been really helpful for me. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. I, have, I have a lot of notes too, so this is gonna help me uh, next week. And we might cool. have to make this. Uh, we might have to do this more often so we can we can talk more about that. But I'd love to keep having you on. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, and uh, thank you guys for watching. And again, if you want to learn more about viral marketing, go to getviral.com, click on the marketing plan, download the database reset. It's all about how to attract more business instead of chase to nurture your database, add value, and brand yourself so uh, you generate more repeat referral. Check that out if you uh, want to get lists like this yeah. to call and generate leads. And I have to say, Viral's awesome. I've been working with them a couple months and they've helped tremendously where I have so much chaos and they've helped streamline stuff and it's been awesome. So thank you, Viral. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Adela, for being awesome. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Like card. We'll, Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Phone calls live. Thank you. Bye, guys.